I got asked the other day about, um, there's a thing on TV called, I think it's called Trigger, about Expo, uh, explosives, officers in police and bomb disposal. Um, first of all, unless I'm in a, or I was in a completely different police thing to other people, there's no such thing as like an Expo unit. Um, what we do, we use uh, um, the bomb disposal that are based at, uh, I think it's Catrick Garrison, um, and part of the army bomb disposal and they come down. Um, we've had a lot of dealings with, how can I put it, tourists. People want to know about tourists and bombs and this sort of thing. So, first of all, tourists. Now, this is going to cause controversy. Controversy. It's controversial. And before everyone starts jumping on bandwagon and typing in all the keyboard warriors, be careful of what I'm going to say, because I'm going to say, all tourists, when I say look the same, I don't mean look the same physically. I mean, they look the same because they look like nondescript people. Does that make sense? They look like boring individuals that are blending into the crowd. And every time you look at one, no matter who it is, man, woman, child, whatever race, description, whatever, everyone looks the same because it's the kind of person you never look at. It's that kind of person that blends into the background. You never see one that's got a white streak in six foot two. You never see one that's, I'm not being funny, one-armed, one-legged. Everyone just, it's one of those things that you could walk into a room of a thousand people, you'd never ever pick one out. And I think that's why they're so good at what they do because um, everyone I've ever <clears throat> had information about or they've, they've come across for certain reasons. I mean, I know where the tourist cells are. We've dealt with tourists before. We've had, we've had to escort tourists. Um, to different cells, um, and like when you have suspicious, oh, I can't get the word. Suspicious packages that come in, um, when people always say, right, there's some. So what happens is a job comes in, and they'll say there's a suspicious package at a train station or something like that. They'll send you, and you're meant to have a bit of a look at. It. So you do a bit of training before you do some one-on-one -on -one kind of things. So people come in and do a a training session with you about bombs and all this sort of thing. So you have a rough idea of what, to, oh, don't get me wrong, you're not gonna unzip it and look at it. But if you just think, yeah, this isn't, it could be someone's fish fingers. Yeah. Left, like, you know, Maureen's left her fish fingers while she's gonna see Mrs. Miggins. Mrs. Miggins is back again. You, you know what you're looking for roughly. And if it's something you're not happy with, you can't see enough, you've got to have your radio switched off, you, you don't have your phone on, nothing with any airwaves, transmission or anything like that. Um, you call it into a hub and the next thing you know, the dispatching the bomb team from Catrick. Now, I don't know what bomb team are like when they're at Catrick, but you can imagine them getting that call, can't you? And they're, they're all sat around, came mucking about, and up, can calls come in, we're going to Keefley. Right, what's going on again? Right, when they're running past this store, and like, do we get nitroglycerin? Do we get Semtex? Do we get, oh no, let's get, and the Lord didn't pack up of what they want to get, and, and all the charges and this sort of thing. Then they fly down at 56 miles an hour in the, in the van, and. Mrs. Miggins overtakes them in a, in a little maestro, but they're all there ready to rock and roll. And, uh, and they get there, and these guys that come down are so talented, they know everything about every sort of ordnance, bombs, every sort of like explosive device. It, it's brilliant to watch them in motion. There was once a job at Kiefer where there was someone on someone's car, um, and they, I think they had to detonate it. But it's always this thing of, we're going to blow it up. I think we're going to detonate. We're going to do a safety definite, uh, detonation. You know, do you not want to try? No, we'll, we'll, we'll blow it up. So it's like, get explosives out, lads. And then whatever they can do, they'll, they'll like, they cover them over or they send a robot out or whatever. And if they can blow them up, they'll sandbag it and they'll, they'll blow them up. But they're experts, not me. But when you watch them doing what they do, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. But yeah, so you've got to look at the, uh, you've got to look at the, the device or whatever it's like. People will ring up and say, I've got an hand grenade I found in my back garden or a World War II bomb. So I won't have a clue what a World War II bomb looks like, but I've seen a cartoon picture of a bomb. So when you go in someone's back garden and there's got something sticking out floor that looks like a bomb, first thing you do is gonna say it's a bomb because you're not gonna start pulling it out floor if it's been there since World War II. And it's the same with hand grenades. People have found hand grenades. I mean, the proper live hand grenades. Um, we've had a Bobby bring one in at a police station, which were a bit bizarre. And he put it on top and said, look, I think I've found this out. Don't ask me about it, it's a, it's a long story, is that? But it's one of the main things that's always stood in my mind. Because um, over the other day I did a talk about auditors and first of all, I want to, I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the intel, this is what I'm trying to discuss with people, the intel you get, and we had information that um, there were going to be a certain tourist cell that were going to fake uh, RTC, 
and then kidnap someone or assault someone at the RTC and try and cut the head off life on YouTube. So you come into work and this is information you get and saying, right, please be aware that when you go to an RTC and it's on a rural road, just be aware it might be set up. Or when they say, right, we'll send beat there first because traffic are busy. So you get this information coming through and you're thinking, like, you're on the way to an RTC. We've got a car on its, road, on its roof on Oakworth Road at the top end of Keefler. And you're on your way thinking, I could be getting set up here at three in the morning. I could get there, get kidnapped, and basically want to cut my head off live on YouTube. And this is what you've got to put out to people, of like people putting cameras in your face, people filming this, that, and other. Everything's done for a reason. The intelligence we get for a reason, the people watching your cars, not watching your cars. So it's all based back on, and then the, the word tourism, there were a, um, a, a car going to, I think it were a, like a combat 18 or a national front meeting. Um, I think I think this were in Huddersfield as well, and it were a local traffic stop, and they've pulled it over, and there's like loads of like explosive stuff sent back at car, and basically pipe bombs or whatever it is, and they're on the way to this combat 18 march or national front march to detonate all these explosives, and it were only stopped because it were a traffic stop and something like no insurance on this car. If the police hadn't found it and stopped it just by a random stop check, they'd have gone in and done what they'd done. But all these people that you're looking at are all, oh, so-and-so has been stopped for this, so-and-so has been... And I'm not on about different colours of people. I'm not about different races and religions. I'm just on about everyone. There's different elements in every bit of society from... We've had it for years with IRA. We've had it for years with different organisations. But the word tourism strikes fear into people, instant fear into people, because it can happen any place, any time. You can be at any... And we've, we've already seen where... We went out to London at Christmas, me and my family. We've already seen where Tower Bridge attacks and... Um, those other ones that went through that uh, shopping area in Bottom of London uh, with hands tied up and stabbing people. We've got Manchester bombing at Aria and Granda concert and things like that. You, you can be at just a random place at a random time. And these people just blend in the background. These people just don't stand out. Um, and it's a, it's a scary world out there. But yeah, the amount of packages we go to and the amount of things that get detonated by the... Um, bomb disposal people from Catrix, phenomenal. ROT, yes. How do you know that? Are you a, are you a, a, an ex? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you know Josh's ex Navy as well. 